I like, I, I read all kinds of books, you know, for relaxation. I, <clears throat> I might read a detective story or, or travel book, adventure, and um, sometimes I go back to the classics, old favorites. Um, <clears throat> biographies, I like reading books about interesting people who've done uh, unusual things. I'm not very good in maths, so I'm trying to calculate. <laughs> I'm always popular with, with students when I tell them the, the marks I got in maths in class 10. I think it was 23%. <laughs> so now you know why I became a writer. <laughs> um, well, what was I saying? Um, how many books have I read? Yeah, about 10,000 over the years, total. <laughs> Writing wasn't a very popular sort of profession in those days, hmm? especially in India, because uh, the, you didn't, you couldn't make a living at it. It was very hard to do so. <coughs> so that's why I say when I told my mother I wanted to be a writer, she immediately said, go and join the army because uh, she felt um, for an undisciplined young man like me, that was the best place. <laughs> but um, so I didn't get much support at all. So it was, um, uh, by that time I I lost my father, you see, so otherwise he might well. Without much encouragement from, at least from family or relatives. Um, so the encouragement that I did get in due course was from editors and literary people who perhaps <coughs> recognized that I, I was a fairly good writer, or not a bad writer. I had to wait some time because I had to write <coughs> two or three drafts before I could get it accepted. Huh? So a lot of work went into it. I, I have to say I worked harder when I was your age than I do now. Hmm? And um, so when it finally got uh, published, um, I was uh, pleased. I was back in India then. I had three or four friends and we went and celebrated by eating tikkias and chaat near the Gantagar here. <coughs> I don't know if the chaatwal is still there. <coughs> if, if he is, maybe we can stroll over this evening. <laughs> Going back to the 1950s. <laughs> Uh, in your father's or grandfather's time. Huh? And, um, well, I wrote it, The Room on the Roof, when I, I, I was sent, packed off to England after I finished school. And I was very homesick for, for India, for Dehradun, for friends uh, here, and the relationships I'd enjoyed. <coughs> and so that book really came out of a feeling of, of homesickness and longing for uh, the place I'd grown up in. And, um, and, and I'd had this sort of schoolboy crush on, on uh, uh, my, uh, this older lady, which is described in the book. Uh, but don't follow my example, please don't. <laughs> when I run out of, you see, when I run out of real people or characters or ideas, I, al I can always cook up a ghost story, you see. So there's always, um, I don't run out of material that way. And, um, so, as a little girl asked me recently, said, do you really believe in ghosts? And I said, no, I don't believe in them, but I keep seeing them. <laughs> and uh, if you, if you can imagine them, you see, or, or your dreams can be converted into, into stories, which would be ghost stories in a way. So, the, the, the only um, ghost which I can say is, uh, has some reality for me, yet, well, I'm a restless sleeper and late at night, you know, my desire keeps, the uh, blanket keeps falling off the bed. Um, and then I'm conscious of someone picking it up and putting it back on me and tucking me in. Uh, and when I switch off, switch on the light, there's nobody there. So it's obviously a very friendly maternal ghost. <laughs> if you are writing well and you've enjoyed writing a particular story or book, then at that moment it would be no, perhaps your favorite. But if you look back, then over the years there might be others that were also, that you enjoyed doing. So I guess the one you enjoyed writing the most. Hmm? Um, but then I enjoy all my writing basically, so it, it's hard to, uh, to say which is my favorite. There were periods when I was a bit discouraged, when maybe things weren't going too, too well. Um, in, in the early years sometimes it wasn't always easy to get a book published. Um, or, or you got rejections, but um, I think I knew that um, writing was the thing I could do best. Hmm? 
and therefore I had to succeed at it somehow or the other. So it was a question of perseverance hmm, and sticking to it. Hmm. Um, and then better days came and um, I have started getting more readers. Hmm. And so it, it, it took a long time, you know, sometimes success comes to you overnight. Um, at other times it might take years to come. But I think it's better if it takes a long time to come because you then you value it more, you appreciate it. And then you're also in a position to put up with difficulties and hard times if they come again because you've been through them. I think you've got to be, if you're going to be a writer, you've also got to be a reader. Hmm? And it's, it's only because I was so fond of books that I wanted to say emulate my favorite authors, which I feel a lot of you may want to do. Hmm? So also I enjoyed the business of, of uh, putting words together and sentences and having a style of my own. Um, but but basically it's, it's uh, the influences that you get from other writers, I think.